Okay, hey, I'm back with the, um, this uh, static meter hooked up with the uh, same 50-watt dummy load in the back. Um, we're going to just compare this to the Vectronix and same radio. We're still testing out this 5555N. So we're on FM. Um, find the microphone here. We're on FM, and I uh, got the power here about in the middle. Okay, let's see. See what this looks like. Oh, and this scale here, we're on the 100 watt. We're, yeah, we're on the 100 watt setting. So, there we go. Oops. On that red, uh, we're on the red scale. Hmm. Not as clear as I'd like it to be. This, uh, there we go. So, we're on the 100 watt scale, which would be the top red, uh, the uh, red one second scale from the bottom. A little under 20 watts. Man, why is that so fuzzy? Hmm. Turn it all the way down. Looks like one watt. And let's try it all the way up. 30. Let's look at FM. I mean, that was FM. Let's look at AM all the way down on the power. Audio. Audio. And put it about halfway up. Was that 5 watts? Or 6, I guess that is. And with audio, we're going to oh, over 10. And let's put it all the way up. All the way clockwise. Audio. One, two, one, two, audio check. So, not too bad. Alright, let's try uh, sideband here. Something's not right. It won't change to. Uh... I'm going to pause this for a second. Something happened there. Okay, I'm back. I don't know what. It would not move off of AM. I don't know if there's something wrong with this button. I hit it a few times, and now it's now it's moving through the modes again. So that kind of concerns me. Maybe I. I don't know. Yeah. All right. I don't know what that was about. Um. But now we're on sideband, and I'll put the power here in the middle. There to power. Whoops, power is about halfway up. So let's see what happens here now. Halfway. Audio. One, two, one, two. So we're still on the 100 watt scale. Uh, I don't know, halfway up. What's that? Peaking about 15 watts with normal audio. Let's turn it down all the way. Okay, that's all the way counterclockwise. Oh, yeah, only peaking about 2 watts. And let's go up all the way. All the way clockwise. Still on sideband. Audio, 1, 2, 1, 2. Oh, a little over 30, I think. A little over 30 with audio. Yeah, not too bad. All right, and this... Um, I'm going to calibrate this thing here again, because we are on the dummy load. It should be a really good match. Um, oh, let me put it back on AM. Whew. All right. I just wanted to make sure, because this, on this meter, as with a lot of them, YFG mobile. Listening on ZMR 405. got the other radio on there. When this thing, when this meter, uh, like with a lot of meters, when the SWR is high, uh, you'll get a false watt reading. So with this dummy load, whoops, with the dummy load, we have, uh, should be near perfect. See, the other Vectronix meter showed it as perfectly flat with this dummy load. And this one always shows a slightly bit higher. Uh, well, normally, probably won't now that I said that. Yeah, moves a little bit. See, the Vectronix wouldn't even move with this dummy load. So that's still 1.1 or slightly under. So, 
you know, with, I know with this meter, if I um, put it on an antenna that has like a 2 to 1 SWR, we always get a false watt reading. It shows higher watt. Of course, the Vectronics will do that too sometimes. So, let's check this modulation real quick. Oh, get it a little touchy there. Audio. Audio, one, two. Audio check, one, two, one, two. Hmm. Well, with the P, if I had a tone, if I could inject a tone into it, we would see what it really is. With normal talk in here, it looks kind of low to me. 50, 50% or so, audio, audio. I don't know. I never, I never pay much attention to the uh, modulation meter. Um, I'm going to listen to it on the 7300 in a little bit, see if it's on frequency and all. Um, the 2950 is always rock solid on on frequency when I uh, check it with either a counter or listen to it on another piece of good equipment. So I'm going to do the same with this. Now, this is never on right. I mean, this thing, until it warms up, it's always off. And when this radio here was out of the box, the uh, transmit and receive were not the same and the display was wrong, but it's all lined up now. All right, I got to get out of here. Talk to you later.